uh, you already know, my name is uh, Jakub Szerega. I'm a, a third grade high school student uh, from the eighth high school in Warsaw, named after Władysław IV. Uh, this year I have been a laureate of the uh, Historical Olympiad, the, the nationwide Olympiad for History. So that's my main interest, as, as you can guess. Um, I have also been, uh, I'm also a scout. I'm, a, I'm for, for many years, I have been working in the, in the ZHP. Uh, before, I before high school, I also have been awarded with uh, two uh, president prizes of, of my uh, hometown. I am from Otwocka, small town on the outskirts of Warsaw. Uh, I have been a, uh, back then I have been a laureate of uh, uh, the Olympiad of, uh, or rather a curatorial competition for Polish language and uh, finalist for, the, uh, for history. Uh, personally, I really enjoy reading. I'm an avid reader. Uh, I write, I uh, read mostly <laughs> history books. And uh, but also also fantasy and, and science fiction. Um, my my big dream is is writing. I'm I'm an amateur writer, uh, though I have never really been published anywhere. But but it, it's kind of my uh, big dream. Uh, I have also been a volunteer. I have been volunteering for Caritas. I have been uh, in recent months uh, volunteering for Ukraine. Though not as as much as I as I'd like to, because because of my health problems and and because of school. Um, yes, uh, for many years uh, I've been a, a member of uh, Polish American uh, exchanges uh, organized in my town uh, by uh, Kosciuszko <laughs> or. Uh, just Kościuszko Foundation. Uh, recently, they they changed the uh, the organizer. Now it's called the uh, Ojo Eagle Cultural Exchange. Exchange. Um, so I know some people from the United States. Uh, I talked to the teachers, uh, though I really I would really like to see the country because just talking with people is not the same not the same thing. Uh, and uh, I think that is uh, basically it. Thank you, Kuba. Thanks a lot for the introduction and for the presentation. Now it's time for the questions. Yes. Hi, Jakub. My name is Michael. Uh, you like me interesting the history, but uh, which of the period of the history is the favorite for you? Which one would you like the best? Um, uh, my most favorite period is er, is the early modern period. So, like from 16th to 18th, 19th century. Uh, I have the Olympics I I wrote, I, I participated in. That was the time period I chose. Um, you, you, it's mostly in Poland. It's mostly um, associated with winged hussars, uh, the deluge. Uh, Hendrik Sienkiewicz. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very much for it. Yeah, but uh, I see behind you the use of Piłsudski. But yes. from this period about which you are talking, then 16 and over the, the, the century, do you have any Polish uh, character which it's which you admire and is the special one in your imagination? Mm, I have a few, but the one that I, I mostly uh, like is um the hetman stanislav Żukiewski. uh he's the he's he's the do you know when he, you know when he died <laughs> uh do you know when when i died he around uh, 1620 yes uh, he died during the retreat from the battle, uh, of, battle of cesora right yes, exactly <laughs> right <laughs> that's that's Sorry the, <laughs> yeah that's the maybe not the most uh uh Shining elements of his of his career, though he though he tried to stop the uh, retreating forces, 
uh, from from going into into total panic. Yeah, like I admire mostly his his uh, his uh, campaign against Muscovy, uh, and uh, I know he's been a, a not only a, a military leader but also a, a writer, uh, a kind of political commentator. Though I haven't had the chance to read his uh, his uh, books yet, but I, I would I would really like to. Yeah, the big the big hero of the Polish history. That's true, and the cousin of the Jan Sobieski. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, another question: Very interesting, the America. But what would you like the best in the America or the in the American people? You have the many contacts in the with the teachers at NATO. What would you mm -hmm. like the best in America and in the American people? I think that. From what I what I seen, what I've seen, what what I what I learned from talking to them is their positivity. Like um, in Poland, like I'll, I'll give an example because we in Poland, uh, like even young people are often very pessimistic about our country. For example, they they look at it and they say, "Oh, it's so poor. I don't want to live here." But I talked to a, a to a professor. Uh, who visited Poland a few times, and he he was ultra optimistic. He was like, uh, I saw 20 years ago, I've been to Warsaw, I saw a few sky skyscrapers. This year, I've flown to Warsaw, I see f three times the amount, you have great future, uh, and like, uh, I talked to all, all of you, and, and you're such great people, and I think that, that your country's got a uh, fantastic future, and I think that's Something I, I mostly admire in the American people, and and something we could we could learn from them. Okay, thank you very much. That's true. That Poland, I agree with you. So once again, thank you for the answer. Uh, Jakub, thank you very much for your presentation. Very interesting. Um, if you could tell me why you are writing books, I mean, what what is your motivation to write books? Hmm. You know, it's like uh, I. There are certain things that I'd like to tell other people, but simply telling them uh, straightforward is very is very difficult. Uh, it's like some some concepts about the things I'm interested in: uh, history, politics, vaguely. Um, they are. Uh, it's easier to, to tell them by, by stories. And, and stories themselves are, are wonderful. And it's also a craft just for the craft because people enjoy them. Uh, they can uh, associate with them. Uh, and, I, and I'd like to bring them the joy <laughs> myself. Uh, yeah, I, I, I always admired writers. My, my uh, essay was about uh, my favorite writer, uh, J.R. Tolkien. Mm, and uh, yeah, what I what I wrote in that essay was was very true. That he he had a very niche area of interest. He was a, a, a philologist. He was he was studying languages, and from from that very niche, uh, let's concentrate on you. Uh, uh, all right. So so I'd like to uh, do something something uh, similar to him. Right. Take my interest in history. Uh, because there are many wonderful inspirations there and uh, make out of it uh, something that other people will enjoy and something that will uh, make them think, right? And Kuba, thank you. Uh, if you could tell me three biggest benefits uh, you expect to find uh, uh, when you get the, the, the scholarship. Three biggest benefits. Uh, I would really like to talk with uh other scholars uh, uh in the usa I, I don't know if i'll have the occasion but it's but it's but it sounds like this to to know their methods to uh to know how how they look on certain things also the the part about seeing uh, the corporations from the inside it's it's really interesting because they are this big uh kind of forces that are present everywhere in our lives, but uh, no one really knows them from the inside. Uh, and also just meeting new people in general and uh, seeing, uh, seeing uh, uh, 
new places, especially such such a wonderful place as as the as the one we're, we're going to. It's it's a wonderful experience, I, I imagine. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you too. Jakub, you wrote the book, right? I mean, not wrote, but I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, trying to, let's say. Okay, and what what is the content? What do you write about? What, what do you write about? My uh, main things I'm I'm writing about it's usually some um, fantasy or or science fiction stories because I have a tendency to start many stories and then like kind of uh, think about think about them a lot but not really finish them. But uh, I I very often like grapple with the uh with with such themes as as war as uh, kind of political leadership and uh how people have uh, how difficult it is to make decisions when you're under stress and when uh a lot depends on you uh the the, the my, my recent project is is something about uh a group of uh, explorers who are going into the frozen frozen country that that once was theirs but it was frozen by some mysterious thing and like no one really knows uh what this is about but they have their own theories they have to make difficult decisions to survive uh and that there is always this bigger context in the background Okay, thanks a lot. And uh, um, did anyone uh, read your stories or only you had the chance to read it? Mm, I sent them sometimes, I, I sent fragments to my friends, but never really, really published. Uh, and I think I had uh, one poem uh, published in a... Uh, in a tome of poetry for my previous school, but that was kind of a long time ago. Okay, thanks a lot. I mean, that's all from my side. Uh, now we can share the feedback with you. Uh, Jakub, I wish you to success in the writing uh, and uh, this in this passion, because I think that it's, you know, that's very important for you. Uh, congratulations on the knowledge of the history and many other skills. I think that uh, the history, which we are interested in, it could be useful in uh, looking on the uh, on the future too. But depends how much do you learn from the history. And I wish you to, to learn. And I, I, I think that it could help to understand that's what is coming. Uh, and what it's now. So thank you for the presentation. Very, very good. And I hope see you in future. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Too. Uh, Jakub, thank you very much for your presentation and uh, for your conversation. Uh, my advice would be uh, be more determined. Uh, uh, achieve your goals with boldness. Don't give up. Go forward. Thank you very much, Kuba. Thank you. Kuba, my advice would be very, very similar. A courage is something with which I would uh, advise you, a courage to show who you are, a courage to, you know, take your, your dreams come true uh, because you have beautiful story behind you. So focus, courage and determination would be, would be my advice. Thank you. Bardzo dziękujemy, Jakub. Jutro otrzymasz od nas maniki. Dobrze, bardzo Thank dziękuję you. też. I do widzenia. Mogę się jeszcze złączyć? Do widzenia. Tak, dziękujemy. Do, do widzenia jeszcze raz, dziękuję. Do widzenia. Dzięki.